Adobe FrameMaker 2019 allows you to configure a workspace similar to the one seen here when you're building your own structured environment. If your XML structured workspace doesn't appear as seen here, click the Workspace dropdown. Under the Workspace dropdown, click Reset Workspace. By clicking just to the right of the name element in the structure view, I can position the insertion point and type text. As I type topic, you can see the content appear in both the structure view and the document window. Let's also take a minute or two and build a custom workspace. To make it as easy as possible, start with the blank workspace. This ensures you don't have any legacy tools on screen to begin with. If the blank workspace looks different than what's seen here, click the Workspace drop-down once more and choose Reset Workspace. Under the Structure menu, click Structure View. The Structure View displays in a default location. You can click and drag the Structure View tab and dock it in a different part of your screen. I'm going to dock it on the left side of the monitor. Watch for the highlighted blue pop-up that appears just before I dock the tab. Because of that blue highlight, I was able to dock the structure view on the left side. I'll also display the element catalog. Under the View menu, select Pods, and then choose Element Catalog. Remember, I can move into the tab name and click and drag to reorganize its position on the screen. Here, I'll place it between the structure view and the document window, and then wait for that blue pop-up. You may have to hover and pause. Each of these pods can also be individually resized. If doing this yourself, you can adjust the interface until you're happy with the results. When done, I can click the Workspace drop-down and save what I've done. Remember to name the workspace something logical based on the general function of the tabs that have been positioned. Here, I assigned a tag name to the element, in this case, Topic, customized the workspace, and even saved it. Now it's pretty easy to move ahead and continue to develop the EDD.